Idaho Falls Pediatrics, proud of you supporting kids in our community and 7 Questions with Emmy. Hey guys, welcome back to 7 Questions with Emmy. Today I'm here at Cox County with Adam French. He is one of the owners from here. And as you can see, I'm wearing a special outfit for this interview. So should we get started with the questions? Let's do it, yeah. Okay, question number one. How did you get your start in the beekeeping business? You know, I got started about 16 years with Cox's honey. Before, I was terrified of flying insects. I did not like wasps or hornets or anything, but I love bees. And so 16 years ago, I started helping with the beekeeping and uh, spent two great years out in the bees before I kind of ended up in the office. But I still get out to the bees a lot um, because I like to see, I love bees. I love to hear them hum. I love to see them work, bringing in honey and pollen. It's awesome to watch. Question number two, how many times have you been stung by a bee? Hundreds or thousands of times. One time, I didn't do up my bee veil very good, and I, I took 12 stings right in my ear right here because I didn't get it up fun enough. So that time I took 12, and that was a lot at one time. But yeah, I've been stung hundreds of times. Yeah. How much honey will a bee produce in its lifetime? Uh, one twelfth of a teaspoon not very much. So if you look at a frame like this, there's about three pounds of honey there. So it took hundreds of bees to produce that one frame. And so it takes a lot because they only produce, you know, just a little trickle just like that is all that one bee will produce in its lifetime. And so you can, you can imagine it takes thousands or millions of bees to produce all of this honey that we have here. Do you have a queen bee here? I do not have a queen bee here. That would be fun to show you, but I don't have one. Um, it would, they, the bees wouldn't be very nice if we tried to find a queen, because they would think we're after the queen and that's like everything to them, so. Yeah, um, how can you tell if it's a boy or a girl bee and do they live as long? So uh, the difference between a male and a female bee is a, a female bee actually does everything. It guards the hive, it forages, it nurses the bees, um, and then of course the queen is a female as well, right? But a male bee doesn't do too much in the hive. It might, it might help dehydrate some of the honey, mates with the queen. That's really kind of what a, what a male does or what a boy bee does. The other, the other big difference between a, male, a boy bee and a girl bee is the girls are the ones that sting you. A male bee or a boy bee doesn't have a stinger. So they don't actually come after you because they don't have, it, they don't have anything to use against you. But a, but a girl bee will sting you and that's the ones that come, that's because they're trying to protect their hive. So that's one of the biggest differences that you could see. Uh, by looks, um, when everybody looks at a bee, it's most likely a female bee because you almost have to be by hives to see a boy bee because they stick around the hive. They don't go out and forage, they don't go out. So like all the bees that are in here would all be girl bees in here. Um, how, uh, are bees attracted to a certain kind of plant versus others? Yeah, so anything, so there's two things that bees will, will go and get from plants. One is pollen, the other one is nectar, which turns to be honey. And so it depends on what they need. If they need a bunch of pollen, which they, a lot of times they do in the springtime and in the fall time, but then they also go for nectar when there's like a honey flow. They call it a honey flow that's on. And so they'll go after the nectar. There are some, some plants like clover plants that they'll go after versus some other like house plants they won't necessarily go after. And so, yeah, so if they're producing nectar, they'll go after that plant. What's something someone might not know about bees? Something to know about bees. Something that's interesting, I always tell people, and they, they don't really, it's, I think that shocks them, is that bees only live like 30 to 45 days. That's it. From the time that they're born until they die, they don't last very long. And that's why the queen has to keep laying all the time, because you have thousands of bees that are dying every day, but there's also thousands being born every day to help. But yeah, they only live 30 to 45 days. Mm -hmm. uh, what advice do you have for someone who wants to be a beekeeper? If someone wants to be a beekeeper, I think the biggest thing that they could do is call a beekeeper and talk to them about beekeeping. Go out with a beekeeper and see how, how they work and how that, because 
it's interesting. It, it is hard work, but it's also very rewarding because when you see frames of honey like this, you know that what you've done throughout the year is actually producing something. And so, and, and then also another thing is bees, you know, everybody thinks, oh, bees, they sting, which they do, but they're actually pretty good little creatures. They're amazing. And so being out with the bees actually would help somebody really want to be a beekeeper more than just talking to somebody. Um, my second grade teacher actually, she, um, her, she loves bees and she taught us all about bees and she made me not afraid of them. Oh yeah? Well, just I'm still afraid of getting stung, <laughs> but... I think everybody gets afraid of being stung. I don't like to be stung either, but we get stung. Thank you so all. much for talking with me today. You bet. Is there anything you want to see? You want to you taste the honey? Yes. It's kind of interesting. You could just kind of stick your finger in there and you see all that honey coming oh, out. Oh, wow. And so these pieces that are in here are like beeswax. And they don't hurt you. You can, be, you can eat the beeswax or you can, throw, you can spit it out, either one. Is but it good? It's very good, see? Okay. Very good. Just stick my finger yep. in? Yep. Oh, we're probably going to have Oh, I can't eat it. Let me undo your veil. Okay. How is it? Mm, that's really good. Is that really good? You want another? This okay. Can you do it like right here? Yep, anywhere you want. So, what my teacher told me that these honey, is it throw up? Be be <laughs> it's regurgitated, yes. What do you think? Good. <laughs> I think I might try a little something. Yeah, go ahead. You bet. This is honey in its best form. Mm -hmm. Do the bees really eat their own honey? honey? What's that? Do the bees eat their own honey? They do, yep. That's how bees survive. So all of this honey that we've taken off is all excess honey. So we've let them fill up their hive with honey and then these, are, these, these boxes sit on top of the hive and they fill these full of honey. So it's kind of extra honey that it's the bees It's kind of hard need. to see with this veil on because... It is kind of, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. Now you can see. Thank you. You bet. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, new set of questions and interviews are posted every Thursday. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Love you guys. Bye. Idaho Falls Pediatrics, proudly supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy.